Hi guys, Sarah here and welcome to today's Thousand and Below collaboration. Following my video will be Tracy Paradis of Perfection Art by Tracy and following her will be Flow D Creations and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys click on the link below um, for the playlist link and uh, you can follow through all these videos as we pour on substrates that are not canvases. Um, so far I've seen a handful of them and they've gotten pretty darn creative. Uh, but this little intro is not only to introduce you to the um, collaboration and to all these following artists, which would be wonderful if you guys could give them a little love and subscribe to their channels. They all have less than a thousand followers and I thought, why not support the group and give them a little shout out. Um, but in this, I am going to let you know what I'm going to be pouring on. And um, there might be some hate going on in the comments, but I promise you it's going to be 100% worth it. And um, yeah, so I'm pouring on a watermelon colored Kate Spade purse. Now, I bought this at Kate Spade. They were trying to sell me the warranty for it. And I have had this since January. It was my intention to pour on it to begin with. And um, when they tried to sell me the warranty, I quickly said, no, no, I don't need the warranty. And they kind of groveled back and forth with me. And I said, yeah, but by tomorrow, uh, it won't be worth a dime. So uh, they were curious on what I was talking about. And I told them that I'm a YouTube artist and I was going to pour paint on it. And they were excited and shocked. The manager came over to hear all about it. So um, after this is done, they've requested that I bring it to them, to the store so that they can see the final piece. And uh, I hope this works. I've never done this before. And I've got some special paints going on here. Um, and I'm, I'm really nervous. I mean, I've had this since January and I've never used the purse. In fact, I still have the bag and the receipt in front of me on the other side of the camera. Uh, so I do hope that this turns out. Eek. All right, fingers crossed. We'll see you guys soon. And be sure to like and subscribe to any of the following artists. Show them some love and tell them I sent you. Thank you so much, Tracy, for asking me to join you guys all on the Thousand of Blow collab. Bye for now. Let's see what we do. All right, all. I know this kind of looks more red, but I promise it's watermelon pink. Um, I have a slew of colors I'm going to be using. First is TLP's Echeveria, and I used their Atelier Gel Gloss Regular um, to mix that, as well as the Josanya Varnish to disperse the piggies first. Um, so I have that mixed up here. So I have beautiful Echeveria. I thought that would be really pretty against the pink. I also just used up the rest of my TLP Lily Pad, dispersed in Josanya's, added a little bit of the Gloss Gel by Atelier. The colors I'm hoping to use, I might change my mind halfway through, um, is TriArt Ultramarine Modern, TriArt Bismuth Yellow Medium, TriArt Quiller Violet, TriArt Cobalt Teal, Try Art Iridescent Pale Gold, all of which you can get at Fluid Art Co., as well as the Piggies, the Piggy Sticks, the Mix Sticks, the Josanias, and the Gel Gloss, anywho. And then I'm also adding in here some Golden's Iridescent Pearl. And I have coated my canvas here with um, Golden's, uh, where is it? Titanium White. And we're just going to, <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous, um, but I'm going to actually ninja swipe this onto <laughs> the purse. I figure the purse is now an extension of this little canvas, and it's really hard to do a ninja swipe on a little canvas because the paint goes 
beyond. So now the purse is an extension to my canvas and this is what we're gonna, we're gonna go with. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is start with Let's do the bismuth yellow. We're gonna start with that because it is an opaque paint. And I'm just go putting it right on there. And then let's go with the ultramarine bloom. No, let's not do that. Because piggies can be transparent, let's go with Echeveria. I'll make up my mind soon. And then we're gonna come in with some TLP over there. Let's add some Golden's Iridescent. Some Cobalt Teal, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll see. The Cobalt Teal, I'm gonna come back in again with some of this yellow, the Bismuth Yellow. And let's do the Gold. Oh boy. Um, and then Quiller's Violet. Because, you know, why not? Live a little. And then we'll do some of the Iridescent Pearl White. Now, I have this little spatula here, as well as a little piggy uh, mix stick. Um, I do have my smack stick that I use, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do any detail work once it flies off the canvas. So we are going to start with this. Oh my God. It's not what I wanted. All right. I like it. Let me see. <laughs> um, good Lord. All right, so this time, I think, let's go with the yellow. I love what's going on up there. I'm gonna get a little bit closer this time. and cobalt teal. I'm gonna come in with the Quiller's Violet. Iridescent Pearl. The Ultramarine. I'm gonna mix that up a bit because it is kind of thin. Lily pad. Um, and a little bit of Echeveria. Let's add a little more yellow. I didn't want to do any pinks because I didn't want... Oops. I go with a little more teal too. And ultramarine. And maybe a little bit of white. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm totally digging. There are some beautiful cells in here and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's do that. I think I wanna do another one right here. I want it there. All right, I'm coming in with some teal. Let's get some Echeveria in there. And I'm gonna come in with the Ultramarine. And 
some of the ear. Let's do the pale gold. All right. Take it. And maybe over here. Okay. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, so here we are. And I'm gonna get a paper towel. We're just maybe going to do some modifications on this. I don't know. I'm not 100% sold yet what I want to do, but we're going to come in and I love what's going on here. We're going to swirl in there. All right, guys, so here it is. It's all dry. It is so pretty. I am like so thrilled with the way this came out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a sealant varnish on this piece and we're gonna go from there. So I have, we're gonna do this. this is just in gloss and I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna come across the paint lines that I have created oops I better put my support underneath it so it doesn't move too much when I'm varnishing but these colors came out amazing and that tri art paint is fantastic it um, actually dried glossy and I think you guys can see some of that in the reflection maybe and I'm locked right in here and the, the teal the cobalt teal came out amazing and uh, the bismuth yellow oh you guys got to get some of this fluid paint by TriArt you can get that right at Fluid Art Co uh, they're link will be below in the video description box so you should definitely head on over there and check it out all right so i am just gonna do all of this and we will fast forward it Here it is. I'm so happy with this piece. All right, so we're gonna give it a little bit of to dry and we'll see the final results. Okay guys, are you ready? Here we go. How cute is she? Oh, she's adorable. I am so happy. And this is just the prettiest piece if I can get, there's not a whole lot of sun out today or if it is, it's already going down, but it's behind the trees in a cloud. But I love this, and the piggies are all sparkly, the gold, it's all amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Up next is Perfection Art by Tracy, and uh, keep following along to see what everybody does. Have a great day. Bye.